Hey folks, uh, this one is confidence interval for population proportions. This is part one, so we're going to find population proportion is a P, so we're going to we'll talk about that. So the confidence interval here, so, so a point of estimate for P, the population proportion uh, of successes, is given by um, uh, the number of successes divided by the sample size. So X is the number of successes and N is your sample size. So the point of estimate for the population proportion of failures is one minus that. I, I like to call it the complement of that. Okay, so this is always a decimal that's less than one, and so this would be a decimal that's less than one also. Okay, it's the it's the rest of that. So for example, in a survey of a hundred of thousand U.S. teens, 372 said there's N said that they have owned uh, that they own smartphones. So find a point of estimate for a population proportion of U.S. teens who own smartphones. So it's going to be, um, uh, I'm sorry, this is N right here, and then this is the number of successes. So it's 372 divided by 1,000. So our uh, population, our sample population proportion is called P hat. This is called P hat with that little hat sort of thing on there is uh, 37.2, okay? All right, so the point of estimate for the population proportion of U.S. teens who own smartphones is 37.2%, okay? All right, so here's some more definitions. Uh, a C confidence interval for a population proportion is P hat um, uh, minus E, P hat plus E, or P hat plus or minus E. That's the population proportion, and this is the sample, the point of estimate, the sample uh, proportions right there, the P hats, okay? Where your E is, um, uh, this is our margin of error, our margin of error, which is E, is our Z score. So if it's a 95 or 90 or 99 percent, you get your Z score. P hat Q hat divided by the uh, N and then square root that and then multiply it times your Z score, okay? So the probability that a confidence interval contains uh, P, which is our population proportion, is C, which is that confidence interval up above, assuming that the estimation process is repeated a large number of times. All right, so guidelines for constructing a confidence interval for a population proportion, okay? So we gotta identify the sample statistics, uh, which is our sample size N, and the number of successes X, and then find a point of estimate, X divided by N, and then verify that the sampling distributions, this came out of um, our binomial distributions uh, chapter, which I think was chapter five, I think it was section five, five. Uh, uh, that uh, N times P hat and N times Q hat have, both have to be greater than or equal to five, okay? And then that way we can say it's, uh, we can approximately um, approximate it by a normal distribution. So then we find the z-score that corresponds to the given confidence interval and then find the margin of error, which is that formula. And then we find our confidence interval. So we do um, uh, the p hat, which is what we get right here, plus or minus the e right there. And then that's where your population proportion is going to be lying in between, okay? So use the data in section B, uh, which is the teens and the smartphones, to construct uh, the 95% confidence interval for the population proportions of teens uh, who own smartphones, okay? So uh, from that section, we found the P had to be 3.372. So the point of estimate for the population proportion of failures is 1 minus that, so 0.628, okay? So using our sample size of 1,000, we can verify that the sampling distribution of p hat can be approximately approximated by a normal distribution. So we got to check: uh, is n p hat greater than or equal to five, and is n q hat greater than or equal to five? So, so yes, they're both greater than or equal to five. So we can go ahead and continue. So with a 95% confidence interval, our z-score is 1.96, and there's our margin of error, which is e formula right there. So we plug those numbers in and we get about 0 0.3030. Okay, and I rounded it to three decimals because this has three decimals. So it's going to be our p hat plus or minus this 0 0.030. Okay, so here we go. Uh, um, uh, so uh, we're going to plus or minus the 0 0.030. So when we do that, we get that. So this is the population proportion. So let's interpret it with a 95% confidence uh, we can say that the population proportion, the true proportion of U.S. teens who own smartphones is somewhere between 34.2% and 40.2%. Okay, all right, if you guys are in our class or my class, you'd be assigned to that. Take care.